Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dotman.com. In this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Yaap ROM onto Moto G54 and G64. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. First off, get the Android SDK from my article, extract them onto your PC. You can do so anywhere you want. In my case, I've done so on C drive. And as you could see, the following are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADV command and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So let's enable both the toggles. For that, go to settings. And from the settings menu, you have to go to about phone, which is over here, device identifiers. Then tap on build number seven times. Now go back, again go back, go to system, dev options, and enable OEM unlocking. Enable, as well as USB debugging, which is over here. Once you enable both the toggles, let's move on to the next step. Okay, first let's verify if debugging has been turned on or not. So for that, type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools, hit the enter key, type in ADB devices, and verify that you're having an ID. As you could see, we're having this ID. If that's all well and good, then now you have to unlock the phone for unlocking. First of boot up into fast boot mode, then use the command fast boot OEM get unlock data. You will get a data as something like this. Send this number to Motorola, then they will send you a unique unlock code from your email. So now type in the command fast boot OEM unlock, and this unique code, hit the enter key. That is it, the phone will be unlocked. When that is done, your phone will undergo a reset and they boot to the OS. So reach, enable USB debugging once again. Moving on. Now you may get the ROM file and the IMG files. IMG files will also be in a zip format. Do not extract them. So this is the YAP link and the G apps and the vanilla. I'm using the G app build and the IMG files should also be there. So once you've got the files, both should be in a zip format. As you could see over here. So transfer both the files inside platform tools folder. This will take a few seconds for the ease of convenience. Let's do a renaming for the ROM file. Let's rename it to ROM.zip for the IMG files. Let's rename it to, let's say IMG, name becomes IMG.zip. Do not extract this folder. It's very important. Keep it in a zip format only. Moving on. Now boot up into fastboot D mode. It's the fastboot D and not the fastboot mode. Keep this point in mind. So type in the command of ADB, reboot, fastboot, and hit the enter key. The phone should now be in the fastboot D mode in just a few seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. And after that, we'll first verify if the fastboot drivers are there on the PC or not. So type in the command of fastboot devices and just wait for a few seconds. And after that, I will have a look at the result as well. So once the phone is in the fastboot D mode, which should be the case anytime soon in four to five more seconds. So after this, we should be in the fastboot D mode, I suppose. And let's wait for a few more seconds and we are in the fastboot D mode. Type in the command fastboot devices and verify you're having an ID. If you're not having this ID, then install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. The link for the same should be given here as well. This is the link, install the drivers. Then do a right click on the Windows icon and choose device manager. Now expand the Android phone section and verify your phone should be shown here. As you could see in our case, it's shown here. So this and the ID next to fastboot is all well and good. So let's now flash the ROM file. For that, first of all, you have to flash the IMG file. Type in this command, fastboot skip reboot update file name, which is ing.zip in our case. So copy the entire command, paste the command in the CMD window, hit the enter key. The flashing will take just a few seconds. The boot, vendor boot, are the two files are to flash in the fastboot D mode. Now your phone will boot to the fastboot mode automatically, as you could see. So now you're in the fastboot mode. Let's boot to the recovery mode. We have just flashed the recovery file. So type in the command of fastboot, re space, reboot, recovery, hit enter. The phone should not be in the AOSP recovery, which you have just flashed in the vendor boots, as you could see over here. And after that, we'll first do a phone formatting. But first, let's wait for the phone to move to the recovery. It's the AOSP recovery. This might take a few more seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. And then we should be inside the recovery mode now. So let's keep a time on this as well. And we are now inside the recovery. As you could see, it's a YAP recovery. Same as the stock recovery near about. So first off, let's do a factory reset. So use the volume key to highlight the option of let me show you over here, wipe data factory reset, press the power key to confirm, again choose factory data reset, power key to confirm, and it's now confirm, done. So now again press the volume down keys to choose the option of apply update from ADB, press the power key to confirm, the phone is now in the ADB sideload mode, let me first do a verification again, for verifying type in the command ADB devices and you should now have a serial ID, the sideload keyword as you could see we're having the sideload keyword, if that's all well and good. Type in the command adb sideload and the file name which is rom.zip. Hit enter. The flashing will now start. Take up to 4 to 5 minutes. 
सो लेट्स वेट फॉर दैट टू कंप्लीट सो गाइज द फ्लैशिंग नाउ कंप्लीट एट द वेरी लास्ट प्लीज डू अ फैक्ट्री रिसर्च वंस अगेन अ फैक्ट्री रिसर्च कैन बी डन फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शन लेट मी शो यू वंस अगेन इज वाई द वाइफ डेट अ फैक्ट्री रिसर्ट इज अ मस्ट एट द वेरी एंड एज वेल सो बोथ बिफोर एंड आफ्टर फ्लैशिंग अराउंड फाइव प्लीज डू अ फैक्ट्री रिसर्ट एंड वन दैट इज डन चूज रिबोट सिस्टम नाउ द फोन नाउ बुक टू द ओ एस बट फर्स्ट बोर्डिंग आई विल टेक अप सम टाइम अराउंड थर्टी फोर्टी मोर सेकेंड्स सो लेट्स कीप अ टैब ऑन दैट एंड लेट्स एटलीस्ट सी अ बूट लोगो और द बूट एनिमेशन दैट शुड अपियर इन टाइम सून आफ्टर द मोटो लोगो दिस शुड अपियर द बूट एनिमेशन आफ्टर विच द रॉ विल टेक अ फ्यू मोर सेकेंड्स फॉर बूट टूलिंग टू द ओ एस सो लेट्स एटलीस्ट हैव लुक एट दिस दिस विल सिग्निफाई फ्लैशिंग बटन सक्सेसफुली द बूट एनिमेशन और द बूट लोगो बोथ विल गेट द जॉब डन फॉर अस सो लेट्स सी दैट The Yap animation, boot animation will appear after this, I suppose. In the, and you could see, so this signify we have done the flashing correctly. And now, let's wait for the phone to boot to the OS. So with this, we are now inside the OS. Let's get started. For now, I'm skipping the initial setup. If you want, you may connect. You may connect to Wi-Fi, link your Google account of Google, and then restore all the app data. But that will take a lot of time. Let's skip this all of that for now. Only after the terms and conditions which are required. Let's skip this for now as well, and that is it. We are now inside the OS. It has quite a few pre-installed G apps: the Google Photos, Play Store, Gmail, Google Chrome, and uh, Google Photos. Okay, all of that only. There are a few pre-installed apps as well. For pre-installed, you will get the YASR. It's a. Uh, let me see. Okay, audio recorder, I suppose. Yes, this is the first time I've seen this in any ROM. See the new QS tiles. Okay, not the new one. Still based on the Android 15, I guess. It's not got the the Android 16 QPA one source code has not been rolled out by Google yet. So it's still using the old one, I suppose. Then apart from that, what or else is there in this ROM? Let's have a look at the display. Adaptive brightness, lock screen, timeout, dark theme. Let's enable this. We okay. There is no black theme. Only dark theme is there. Apart from that, theming settings. Theming style, let's say expressive. Nothing major has changed. Fruit salad. The changes are being shown over here as well in the QS tiles. So let me turn this on, and for the colors to take place, the changing. And uh, okay, let's go with the default only. It's fine for now. Auto rotate, smooth display, 120 hertz at all time. Double twist for camera. Then full screen apps, display features, HBM. Then okay, ambient display gestures or what? Pick up hand wave. Okay, nothing fancy as such. The same old ones. Then in the system, what all is there? Gestures, navigation mode. Let's change it to just the navigation. Okay, circle search is always also there. If you require Wi-Fi, that's quite obvious. So currently I'm offline, but it will work like this only, as you might be aware. Let's keep swipe to take a screenshot. It's working as well. Double tap to check phone. One hand mode is off. Playback, volume control, motor gestures, wave to silence. Okay, all of these features are there as well. Tap gestures. Single tap to show AMD. Let's check out the result. Let's say single tap to open the dialer. Let's open a dialer by single tap, and it's working as expected. So that is just about it. Then you may also have a look. Okay, let's see the status bar. You may enable double tap to sleep. That is working as well. Clock position is fine. Icons. Sure, hide the icons as per the requirement. Tweak the battery style. Let's say landscape. It's not changed. Show percentage. It is a must for me. Then apart from that, in the QS settings, what brightness status is there? Estimate. Media player, automatic Wi-Fi. Okay, that is it. Miscellaneous tweaks, advanced re reboot. We have the option to reboot to the system recovery, fast boot, and the system UI. Fast boot D is not there, but that's not required anyhow. And what is this spoof certified properties for GMS? And if you want to install updates, you may do so from this section OT updates, or you may do an edit beside it from the recovery as well. Both will work. Apart from that, let's see the wallpaper and style section. So you may change the wallpaper if there is any. Okay, there is only one single one by default. You may change the themes from here or from this section. So you should like theme from here if required. 
apart from that you may enable themed icons and you could see they are now enabled change the aggregate size from here change the icons in the status bar let's go with sam apply and it's now change likewise we'll change the font style there are quite a few font styles let's do the random one let me see this one hit apply and it will take a ui restart and it's now complete icon shape let's go with pebble apply they should now be changed as you could see they are in the pebble style apart from that let's have a look at the lock screen tweaks the clock styles are there let's go with this one and that is it in the home settings okay nothing fancy double tap to sleep is working which we have seen already theme icon in the app drawer could be enabled as well notification dots let's enable this as well allow and that is it so guys that's all from this video as and when there is a new update a new ui change will take place i'll update and add a new video as well for now that's all if you have any query let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching this video